Hey guys, Veronica Yeager here with the Achieve Fast Wealth blog. I just wanted to go over an extremely useful tool for SEO purposes of marketing your existing website. Whether it's your own personal website that you want more exposure for, or even your business landing page, which is usually just a static page, doesn't usually have any fresh content added to it on a regular basis, so this is a pretty cool tool. By embedding your blog's RSS feed into your website, it's going to show up on your website as a box, and every time you update your blog, the postings will show up on that box, um, which is displayed on your website. Google crawlers, Yahoo crawlers, all the search engine spiders, they really love fresh content, so this is a pretty cool um, tool for you. Um, so I'm going to use our uh, blog and website as an example. So here is our blog, and uh, we're basically going to want to take all of our postings actually our last five and have them populate into our website. So this is our website, so if you scroll down um, to what would be your site or you can have it on the sides or the top, um, this is where we have ours and we have it called our blog feed. And we have the last five postings show up on our website. So if I make another posting tonight, um, within minutes or seconds actually it'll show up right here and then this one will go away. So let's go ahead and get right in. So if you go to www.rssinclude.com, that's going to bring you here. And to us, that's um, it's been the simplest one. It's the most easiest RSS feeder that we've found. Um, so if you go to rssinclude.com, just click here on this Create a New RSS box to get started. Then uh, you're going to want to create a design. Um, there's some templates, the simple vertical list, there's the tabloid, the 2x2, two two, there's a ticker box. Um, the simplest one for us has just been this simple vertical list. So let's go ahead and click on create now. This is where you're going to put in your blog feed address. Um, if you go over to your blog, you should have something similar. This is the RSS icon. Um, if you click on that, it's going to take you to your RSS feed. You're going to copy and paste that address over here. Add feed. It's going to validate. It's going to make sure it's a legitimate RSS feed, which it is. There it is. Then if you go over to content and styling options, this is where you can basically change the look and feel of it. Um, now I recommend having your RSS feed box kind of in tune with your website theme, the website colors that you have. Um, so, um, you know, if your website is mostly reds or blues, you kind of want to follow that here. Okay, this uh, your general options are up here. This is your box title. I'll go ahead and put our blog feed. Um, max number of entries. This is basically the last five um, postings. Whatever, whatever postings you want to show up here, this is what it'll pull. So if you just want the last three, you'll go ahead and put a number three there, and then it'll just show your last three postings. And you can have it sorted any way you'd like. Random, newest to old, old to new. This is where you can change the width of your box, the height of your box. Um, this is a pretty cool one, padding around items. If you don't like things being so flush, basically this text over here, how close it is to your border. You can change that number, you can increase it. Uh, let's go with a 15. It'll add a little bit more white space over here. If you scroll on down, you've got your font options here. You've got your text color and then your background color. And then you can also change your border and separation line colors. So I'm just going to change the colors a little bit here really quick. We'll go with a red. We'll change the item title color to green. I'm going a little crazy here. This won't match my website at all. But this is just to kind of show you what you can do. Change the box title background. Let's go with that light blue. Now one thing to note, um, if you have a unique color on your website that you want to kind of keep in line here with your box, you can grab that um, the color codes from your website and pop them in here if you don't like the colors that um, is pre-populated. So you can definitely put in the codes right in there. Once you've done that, you're going to want to click on Save and Preview. And then you're going to want to go up to Include. 
if you like what you see over here. Okay, so we've clicked on include now. You have two options. You either register for free or you log in if you have your login info. I'm assuming you don't have an account, so if you don't, click on register for free. This is where you're going to put in your email. And then once you hit create my account, it's basically going to shoot over an email to your um, account and it's just going to validate that, you, that that's a legitimate account. And um, then you're going to click on the activation link that's found within your email. So I'll go ahead and do that with you guys here. So let's go into my inbox. There it is. Okay, so this is, click here to activate and log into your account. Now it's going to ask for a password. Just put in the password that you want. Oops. Activate account when you're done. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click go back to your RSS box. Because we want to grab the codes. If you click on this little icon here, it says edit. That'll get you into your um, box's information. We want to go to this input feeds. I'm sorry, we want to go over to include. Okay, now you've got some, some different um, options. You can click on PHP and get the PHP code, your WordPress code if it's just a, Word, just a regular WordPress blog. Um, I'm going to go with the JavaScript. That's what we use with our website. So basically you're just going to copy that code and then you're going to take that code and you're going to pop it in and paste it into your website HTML code. Most likely that's your index.html file. Um, now if you use a file manager or something like that, you know, you'll just kind of go into your website wizard, wherever it is that you go in and, and update your, your website. Um, so like I said, most likely it's going to be your index.html file. Okay, well I hope, I hope you found this to be simple and easy. Um, if you don't have a blog of your own, then consider adding an RSS feed to your website of a website or a blog regarding topics in your industry, your niche, um, you know, or even of the latest media news, you know, abc.com or USA Today or something like that. Because, um, you, you know, you just want to keep that main website of yours fresh um, and updated as frequently as possible. So next, consider downloading my special report on the top eight most powerful free marketing methods that can basically help you create a six-figure income, whether it's by promoting your blog or a home-based business opportunity. Um, my website is AchieveFastWealth.com. And again, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.